Oi, it is your boy G20. Welcome back to NHL 20. Be a pro on a PS4. Let's go, man. On the Boston Bruins, we are trying to make our way back to the Stanley Cup playoffs so we can face the Florida Panthers, our rival, and end this rivalry. Now, we don't face the Florida Panthers for a little while, but I looked ahead at the schedule and I found that we have an interesting schedule. So basically, we don't have any Florida Panthers games early in the season, but as the deadline approaches, we have two games rather close to the deadline. And then, y'all won't believe this, the final two games of the regular season are back to back against the Florida Panthers. That is crazy. That is going to be right before the playoffs. If we end up facing each other in the first round, it would be hilarious. I don't know, man. I'm excited for it. But for the Bruins, it's been a little rough. Looking at our record, looking at our point total, looking like where we are in the standings has been a little rough. And right now, I'm on the second line. I am on the second line with Nikita and Hosang, I believe. Yes. So basically, the first line from last year is now the second line this year. While they moved up Pavel Buchnevich to the first line to play with Niemi and Nordstrom. So that's the lineup for today. I don't know if it's going to change throughout the video, but let's find out. We're going to play three games in the Atlantic Division because we need those Atlantic points. Let's see what we got after two pairs of play against the Canadians. We have a two-goal lead, and I believe, I believe I just saw that Pavel Buchnevich actually got one of the goals. But as we drop the puck on the third period, hopefully this line can also get a goal in there. Like I said, it is the first line from last season. Hosang has gotten a little bit worse because of age. But me and Nikita, basically still the same guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I was about to set up Hosang for a huge one-timer, but we couldn't quite do it. We have an early offensive shift for the line, but unfortunately we don't really get anything towards the net. It does happen sometimes. We got an offensive zone face off, and now... We can actually drive some stuff towards the net. Hopefully, if Nikita wins it, yes, he's gotten much better at the face-off thing. Here come the halves. A couple of passes. Big hit. Let's go. That's what we like to see. They're going to go down into the corner area. Oh, my goodness. That's a big play. And Hutchings makes a nice save. And here we go. We are in full defense mode now. The team, the halves, using the weakness here and keeping the puck away from me on that shift. Basically, they just kept it right low. And I'm the left winger, so it's... it's difficult for me to actually have an impact on that kind of play that's that's the drawback when you're playing as a winger is you don't really get that much control over the game as you usually do at center or defense but this is why we went to the wing last year i did a center and it was it was going well but the thing is we were controlling the game a little bit too much at center and it made the game a little bit easier for me so i decided to move to wing so that this type of thing would happen where the other team can start a cycle and we're basically at the mercy of the rest of our teammates here and a nice save now we have a loose puck boom we're gonna make that puck up the ice good pass here we go we're gonna drive the net i think oh back at the point that's actually a lot of room we're gonna get that back and then we don't have room so we're gonna pass it oh stop stop forcing it to me I, I hate the AI in this game, but we're going to shoot that, and it's going to go out of play. Like, there's only so many times you should pass it back down the half wall if it's not open. At some point, you're going to have to pass it to the other point or do something to move the puck from side to side and not from just point to side wall. At some point, you have to mix it up because they just close in on you every single time you do it. So there you go. That's a nice interception. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We're going to make sure we don't go offside here. We're going to go wide. It doesn't work at the point. Good passing play. That shot. The rebound. I can't put it home. Back at the point. There you go. We managed to get the puck back, and I turned it over because I suck at the game. They, they play it towards me, and I pick it off. That's what I do, brother. I can't believe I didn't turn it over right there. That's a good shot, and I can't find the rebound. My character goes for a backhand animation. He should have just had a tap in it. I don't know, man. I don't like that at all. Slap shot from the halves. It's deflected out of the goaltender's reach. Boom. My boy, we're going to get the puck off of that beautiful pass. We're going to toe drag. We're going to skirt right across the middle. Boom. Dropping it. And that's a beautiful play for the Bruins. And Nikita Brusterov, the new captain, snipes it home. 3 nothing bees. Can you believe this guy used to only score like 11 goals a season? Look at this guy. Look at the shot animation right there. Just boom. Quick. Absolute cannon on the flick. And that's a nice goal. Let the closers close it out. Did they score? I s please don't. Okay, thank God. They didn't score. 
We have another shift, though. Four nothing bees. We are out here. This was a close game. It is no longer a close game, but I guess the Habs were playing a little aggressive trying to get these goals back, and they just kind of got caught. It ha They're still playing a 2-3. Let's go big. Huge shutout, Dobbs, but Boston takes it. Four zip against our arch nemesis, the Montreal Canadiens, with the toilet bowl jerseys. You love to see it. All right. That is a good start to the video. Get two points on the board. Climb up the standings ever so slowly. But we'll make our way back there, man. We are making the playoffs this year. Now we're going to simulate a couple of games. As a matter of fact, we are going to simulate three of those games because we're trying to get these Atlantic Division matchups right now because that's where we need the points. And also, we're trying to get this simulation going. So we are going to simulate all the way to the next Saturday, which is interesting because that's going to be against the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto. You can bet that is a hockey night in Canada national game in this great country. And we are going to go back on the first line, boom, with Niemi for that game. We were about a month, about a month with the second unit, and it went well. It went really well. I don't know why we're changing it now, honestly. We got back-to-back -back shutties, and then we got some good performances right after that. I don't know why we're changing stuff, but it is what it is. Let's get some more points in the Atlantic Division, and us like that. Let's go. We are back. We are back in a playoff spot. We're in a divisional spot. Not even no, no wild card shenaniganery, okay? It's a legitimate playoff spot. Woo! Three zip starting into rock. Five nothing. Oh, I'm not playing that. I'm not playing it. That's, oh my goodness, 8 nothing on Hockey Night in Canada against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Steve Dangle is going to lose his mind. That is going to, whoo, <laughs> sheesh, all right. Next game against the Detroit Red Wings. First period, 2-2 two two score. Second period, 3-3 three three score. See, now that's a close game. That's something that is worth playing. And looking at the Detroit Red Wings, it looks like their rebuild is complete, and they're pretty much at the stage of competing. I don't know if they're contending, but they're definitely competing with those attributes. All right, gentlemen, let's drop the puck on the third period. Let's close this out. It's a close game, 3-3. Three three. No shutouts this time. We've had a couple shutouts of late. It's as if our defense is kind of starting to figure it out, or maybe Hutchings is starting to figure it out. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. If we can avoid allowing a bunch of goals all the time like we used to do, then I think we're going to be okay, man. We're going to be oh, in good shape for the playoff run, and we take a bad penalty in the freaking corner. At least it was a defensive zone penalty. I'm not as mad at that as if it were an offensive zone penalty, but it is still a two-minute minor that we now must kill. So let's go. Let's get back on the ice. Detroit in possession. We're going to take away the middle of the ice, as we do. And I don't know what the hell our defenseman was doing right there, but certainly it was not his job. Let's go. We're going to oh, lose the face off at a one-timer. Great kick save by our goaltender. Our goalie might be a hybrid. Get a get a win with our backup in it. You have to get those backup points. Please get it up the ice. Yes, sir. I love that. I love that. It is a one-on-three, though. It is going to be difficult to do anything. Oh, boom. Right to the middle of the ice. And that is a huge play defensively by the Red Wings. That was a dangerous pass, and I will admit it. But you know what? It got through. There you go. Suck it, nerd. On that it goes. It's going to be stopped by the Tendi. That was not the best shot I've ever had in my career. I will concede, but it's all good because there you go. We're actually we're actually playing decent defense on these rush opportunities. I don't know what the hell's going on. Shoot that! Oh, son of a bitch. The Red Wings are coming back down the other way. Let's let's make sure there's nothing through the middle like we've been doing. Okay. Our defenseman just got literally roasted one-on-one, -on -one, and that's going to be a goal. Detroit makes it 4-3, and now we have to start pressing to get one of them goals back, but we do have a sim goal. It's 5-3. All right. Looks like the team has just decided that they ain't going to come back today. So lack of defensive ability cost us this game. When you have your backup in net, you better be on your game. We were not. So we lose 5-3 to the Detroit Red Wings. It is a game in our, um, in our division. So that's really not good. But we had a massive winning streak um, previously. So it's all good. It's all good in the hood. You're going to lose some hockey games at some point in your life. And we're going to move on to the next one, because that's what we do. On to the next one. On to the next. Hola. All right, let's get the third period going. And the first round, the first round of the NHL playoffs is getting going today. I got my eye on that Bruins versus Hurricanes series. That is going to be an incredible game. And I just got the update that Dougie Hamilton will be suiting up 
for the Canes. That's going to be interesting. Man, the Hurricanes looked so good. I know they were playing the Rangers. Okay, and the Rangers are just not ready to compete. By the way, shout out to the New York Rangers for winning the draft lottery. But I know they were playing a team that really is not a contending lineup at this particular point in time. However, they look great. They look unbelievable. I can't believe I didn't go to the box for that. Oh, oh, what a nice play as we set up one of our teammates. Big Genos. And we are now, I, I don't forgot the score because I was talking about the real NHL. Boom. All right, it's 3-1. But the Hurricanes looked so good against the Rangers. They were on their game plan. Their cycle was great. Their energy was high. And the Bruins are the Bruins, man. It's going to be one of the most interesting series. I think probably the most interesting series in the first round. But we're about to find out, man. I, that's definitely the one I'm going to be watching the most. And that shot goes wide. And we get back on the ice with the OG power play with Nikita at the middle and Niemi on the right wing. That's what I like to see. That lineup has worked in the past. And there you go. It looks like we are creating opportunities already. And, of course, your boy at left wing because that's what we do. Our boy Pavel Butchnevich is the one who got the goal um, that I set up on the one-timer. So maybe Nordstrom is hurt. I don't know. I'm not sure. At this particular point in time, it's not the main concern. We're just trying to get this power play working. But I knew it. At the start of the season, I told you guys he might go up to the first line. I, I said that, and here he is. Here he is, and I have no problems with it because he seems like he knows what he's doing over there, and he has a little bit of finish to him, so that's going to be good. No, do not. Oh, man, what a shitty zone entry for a power play. Up the ice, please, please. Tiniemi, please? What are you doing? Okay, Green. That is Luke Green ignoring friggin' Tomi Niemi. All right, whatever. It better work out. Uh, we got the puck. We're going to go back at the point. Man, the Hawks are running a really effective PK unit. And, of course, they're turning it over. What a disaster of a power play. That was just not good. The entire... Oh, did the second unit get it done? Oh, it looks like they might have 4-1 for the Bees. Let's go against the Connor McDavid Chicago Blackhawks. I love that. Love to see it. That is, I just, I just realized how sad it is that McDavid and this be a pro went to the Blackhawks from the Oilers. It, it just hit me that that really sucks with what happened in the real-life NHL. Perhaps, perhaps it was always, perhaps it was a sign that the, the Oilers were not winning that thing. Oh, right to the middle. Please. Oh, that's a nice save. Niemi's good on the one-timer, too, so that had a legitimate chance. The Hawks in control of this puck here. They are playing aggressive because, I mean, yeah, score effects, man. They're losing, so they want to get as many shots as they can. That's a block shot for the kid. That's what we do. I, I really got to stay stop saying for the kid because we're 29 years old now, so it just doesn't make sense anymore. But out here with the saves is our goaltender. Look at that. All right, go back at the point. Yes, sir. Oh, man, that was a fail on my part. I could have I could have stopped that from happening. I'm going to go down low, get this puck back, and, of course, I am going to be the one to get this puck out of our zone because that's just what we do. And funny enough, speaking of the first round, I asked you guys to predict the score, the, the winner and the margin of victory for the Blue Jackets and Maple Leafs game five, and not a single person got both right. But I said the team and the margin of victory, so that's unfortunate, man. That's, that's really, that sucks. But this is the game of the day. Today, if you want a shout out, predict the outcome of game one of the Boston Bruins versus the Carolina Hurricanes. And if you get the winner and the margin of victory, you will get a shout out in the next video. So your boy, your boy is out here. Just give me your predictions. Let's go. Last minute of play in a third period though for the Boston Bruins and the Chicago Blackhawks. That's a nice tip. Holy moly, that was beautiful. But it's not gonna go in because their goaltender actually had some pretty darn good reflexes. We're gonna be on the bench for this one. So that's gonna be the end of the game. It is gonna be. Huge job spot for the Boston Bruins. 4-1 over the Chicago Blackhawks. And we have some points. But before we leave today, I want to go see how Hutchings is doing. Because I feel like he's been stopping a lot of pucks lately. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay, maybe it's just the fact that we're winning. But look, he got the second star. I don't know, man. Our boy has got a 904. Okay, he's got three shutouts. I, did, I thought he had a higher save percentage. What about our backup? Uh, see, so Sophila, Sophia, Sophila. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's, uh, it's dangerously close to syphilis, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to sound anything close to that. So nine thirteen for our backup, and that is, um, that's pretty good. 
You know, that, that's, I don't know. I've seen Hutchings do that as a backup, though, so it's interesting. Now, as far as the league leaders go, I think I might not be the leader in points. I think that might be Connor McDavid. We have, oh, holy snaps, we have three point a game players, so that's pretty good. But who is leading? Yeah, it is Connor McDavid at 62 points. He's had a freaking season so far over there in Chicago. Oh, we have fewer games played, though, so... Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know, though. He has he has a seven-point lead. That's a lot of points, man. Connor McDavid's going off. And uh, as far as goals go, I am tied with Connor McDavid, but he, I think he would bring home the Maurice Richard trophy because he has more points. That is interesting. All right. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure that out as we go along. But I do have a better plus minus than you, Connor, even though that's a terrible stat. I'm out here and I have fewer penalty minutes than Connor McDavid. It's the end of the video, y'all. Before it gets any weirder, I'm just going to get out of here. I love you guys, and uh, peace.